I'm Lamb Chop. This here's my world. Hey there. I figure while we're outside on this beautiful day here in Tennessee, let me show you Abigail as well. This is a 1966 Aristocrat Travelier. I put the little blue stripe down the side of it because it was all white and looked kind of like a raggedy old FEMA trailer cut in half or something. I thought that churched it up a little bit. But it's a... Uh, it's pretty damn cool guy from a buddy of mine who had his family member had it and kept it in a barn. He cut hay and he'd come inside and take a nap and for lunch and eat his sandwiches in there. Had a little air conditioner up in his front window here. And it was kept in a barn for freaking ever. So it was really, really in good shape. Got all the little storage things come around y'all. Electricity. Super duper hippie. Christmas lights on it. This little thing here was kind of cool. You put your water in there and it had a tank, a storage tank under one of the seats in there. And it had the old pump action deal on the faucet, you know, to had pump it out. Or up here in the front, you can just run your garden hose into it from a campsite or what have you. And it's got the regular faucet knob in there as well. That's the little drain for it. I use an old radiator hose and I put it in a plastic barrel for my drain. Looks kind of cool and rednecky. Uh, big old storage back here is kind of cool. I've been pondering on putting me a TV in there. I think that's a pretty good spot for one for sitting outside. If some people say, oh, what the hell are you watching TV while you're camping? Well, because that's what I like to do. Camping for relaxing. Fuck okay. <laughs> But I like this old camper. Let me show you inside of her. It looks teeny tiny from standing out here. Go over there and look how small it is. With me standing by, you down there reach the ends of it, you know. Little bitty thing. But can you believe this thing is supposed to sleep six? Come here, I'll show you. <laughs> Little window here. Nice. I'll pop this screen out. And I've got a little rig, I rig up right here and a leg on the there, I put my air conditioner in it. And it don't take much to cool this thing down, it's insulated well. Don't take much to heat it up either, because it's insulated well. Check this out here. How about a son of a dog? Some of those are little camper. Just a little, we have some food on the door. Come on inside. <laughs> ain't this something cool? Look at that mess. That thing ain't never been used, I don't think, since the 60s. We just put crap in it. It needs a good wiping down again because it's been dormant since summer or last what have you. Got a, as you can see these beds. This table will drop down, the cushions fold out, there's a bed. This is a bed up here that actually lifts up and it latches up to these sides up here. It folds up out of your way so you can walk in and up in there if you need to. The little couch right here that you see Sammy uh, modeling on. Ain't that a good old son of dog? This is nice to go camping. This thing will pull out this way about right to here and that flops out and makes you a good old bed. Got storage under there, storage under these, obviously. Nice windows. I put a little TV on the table over yonder. For my little small one. Old pantry with all sorts of camping essentials, if you will. Uh, everything in here is all original except this refrigerator. We searched and searched and found one that was just the right size to fit in there. And it happened to be a nice little stainless double door donger. So we got us a good freezer. Come on over here. And I'll show you this. This is tenderloin shitter right there. <laughs> it was just a closet. But I bought her a real nice little porta john that's all self-contained and sits in here just perfectly. But that's a neat old little closet. See if you can get a shot of that in there. That's the old timey old papers that come with it. It's pretty neat old. Not a bad little camper. I like it. <clears throat> 19 and a 66 model. They built them right back then, I'd have to say. I'd have to say. Our little air conditioner sits up in this window here. I pull them aside. And it's perfect for in here. It's enough room 
for one person comfortably or two people madly in love. This is a great weekender camper. Two or three days, perfect. Me and my wife, a tenderloin, we go up to Hot Rod Reunion, we'll camp for a week. And we love it, but it does get to be a little cumbersome bringing all your clothes for a week's worth of time. And then we end up having like eight totes outside or something with all our shit in it, stuff in it. But we like this whole thing, it's neat. I traded a Degum pop-up camper for it, if you can believe that. That I, I think I only give like eight, nine hundred bucks for that pop-up. Maybe not even that much. But these things apparently are, pew, they're worth a lot. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll trade. I love it. Long story, another story I'll tell you some other time about that. But we ended up loving, falling in love with the camper. We got it to flip because we had bought a bigger 20-footer. Ended up being rotten. I lost a thousand bucks on that deal, but I owned it for a week to the hour, one week. I sold it, but I told the guy what was wrong with it, and he said he could fix it, so I knocked a thousand off. He had it, and we had this one we were going to sell to make some money and ended up, Lisa really fell in love with it, and then we started using it, and I really liked it, so I don't think this thing's going anywhere anytime soon. Nope. <laughs> But that's Abigail. That's what we named her, Abigail, our little 66 aristocrat traveler. Lamb chops were.